Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. I got another shop tip for you, and I'll show you something that I've created to help uh, my efficiency and accuracy in the thread tapping on my lathe. So basically what I created here is this rotating tapping jig that allows me to put a tap on the end in this uh, half inch chuck. I have uh, handles here to help me turn the jig and it's also spring loaded. So this half an inch shaft, steel shaft slides inside this one inch shaft. So I made it so this these handles can be removable. It just threaded. So these are this is a stainless steel 5 16 bolt and I've turned some aluminum handles down for it. And so that can be removable. Uh, when you're doing different type of tapping applications, so that can just be screwed in like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, tap this really quickly um, using a very low, slow speed setting, 115 RPM on my lathe here, and I've already pre-drilled the hole for a quarter inch by 20 tap. So I'll just chuck this in. Go. I'll put my safety glasses on. We'll put a little bit of thread cutter on here. And what I do is I got the lathe on the slowest setting. I got it on a forward speed. Since it's spring loaded, I'm going to just pull it back a bit, turn the lathe on. When I feel it catch, I just let it go. Stop it, reverse it, turn it on. And there we go, thread's tapped. So here's an up-close uh, view of my uh, tapping jig. See, again, it's just a half-inch uh, chuck that I got at the hardware store. Um, some one-inch bar stock that uh, has uh, the two handles on the top. Those are 5 16 stain, um, stainless steel arms with some uh, turned-down aluminum handles. And then I have a half-inch uh, bar stock, a cold rolled steel that uh, goes into the chuck that allows you to um, use the tailstock to apply extra pressure on the attachment and it also lets you to set it all up in place. So that, that last uh, procedure was done on soft aluminum. You can just on a small, fairly small bit, so I felt quite comfortable just putting my hand there. Uh, for larger bits, uh, taps, and with uh, steel, I use this um, these handles here to turn it in manually but while the spring and the tailstock apply some pressure. Um, I hope you found that uh, useful. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a link for the plans on how to make this uh, down below. So have a look and if you were able to make this I'd like to hear from you. If you have any other improvements on how you might have done yours, I'd like to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching.